Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some products that I've been using and it is not a monthly favorite but these are favorites that I've been using that are almost running out so this is like an empty video and I'm going to be discussing some of the products that I've been using up that are almost finished and with a little bit of product left so if you want to keep on watching just keep on watching. And um, for anyone who is going to say anything about my face, I am sorry I have this huge pimple on my head and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon, so yeah. Alright, so the first product that I'm going to be talking about is the Ramel London Black Gel Liner and it is amazing. Um, so I've been using this quite a lot, as you can see. and. The product has been doing me very good and I'm wearing it right now on my eyes. With this brush, I've been using this to apply the product onto my eye. With this brush, it's very thin as you can see. It's very thin and it's very flat so the product is evenly distributed on the bristles and when I put the product on my eye, it slides on very very well. It's very smooth, it's very black as you can see. and since the brush is so thin and flat, making wings on your eye is not a problem at all. Uh, yeah, this is a, going to be a repurchase. As soon as I finish this, this jar up, I'm going to be getting this again because it is a drugstore product and you can't go wrong with drugstore products, especially when you're like not financially capable of buying high-end gel liners. So, yeah, this is something that I really like. So my next product that I'm going to be talking about is my Maybelline New York New Clean Express Makeup Remover. And it is in this bottle right here. As you can see, the packaging is like this and the product is almost gone. Something that I really like about this is that taking off makeup is so easy and so simple. All you gotta do is just dab this product onto a cotton ball or a cotton pad and then just wipe it off your eyes and literally just one swipe like 99% of it is gone like all your waterproof makeup is gone so this is very good I am definitely gonna repurchase this I did buy the lotion moisturizing version of this product and um, I think I like this one more because it doesn't give me that oily effect this one actually is very clean feeling and yeah so this is the product that I am probably gonna repurchase again it doesn't sting my face whatsoever and yeah so this is a very good product as well for foundation one of my favorite products that I've used up is probably going to be this Maybelline fit me shine free foundation it's like this and I have the color in 20 and it is called natural beige the color is like this it has a little pink dot in the middle with the color the other foundation outside and I've been using this quite a lot. As you can see, it ran out really fast. I have another one in 115, which is a bit lighter for my skin tone. But this is 220 is the perfect spot on color. And yeah, so I've been using this quite a lot, and this slide's empty. And I'm probably gonna go back to like Walmart or something to buy this again because I really, really love this product a lot. So this is one of my favorites. Big foundation, and plus it's drugstore, so you can't go wrong with that. Alright, so the next product that I'm going to be talking about is the Face Shop CC Cream. It's the Aqua UV Color Correction Cream. And I actually made a video about this product, um, and it's like back there somewhere. And yeah, I've been using this. I stopped using it because I've been using my other foundation, but I actually tried this on again today. And as you can see, it's very, um, very shiny. And that's the thing about CC creams, it gives you that like very glowy look. So yeah, I've been using this and it's pretty good. The coverage is really great, like if I made a mistake, I actually made a mistake on my eyes and I use this to cover it up so you can't see like the mistake on my eyeshadow. If you can then that sucks. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this product is really good. I really, really love how it has this button over here. So you can just push this button and the product will come out. It's very hygienic that way. And so yeah, this product is really good. 
So the next product that I'm going to be talking about is the NYX Butter Gloss. I've been talking about this on my favorites, and I think I also talked about this in another video too. But this gloss, I've been using this color. The color is Strawberry Parfait, and it's very, very good. I have it on my lips right now, and it is amazing. Um, the color is very nice, very sheer on the lips, and it's very, very beautiful. Like, the color is so nice. It's like a very cute magenta-ish color, but on the lips, it's so good. Something that I love about this product is that all the NYX lip products that I've been purchasing smells so, 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 so good. And that is something I really love about it. And plus, um, this gloss actually keeps my lips moisturized, which is really different from all the other lip products. Because whenever I wear lip products, they tend to make my lips more dry, and I do not like that at all because my lips are so big and they peel a lot. So this actually helps keep my lips moisturized and prolongs the uh, lips from drying. So that is very, very good. So this is a favorite. And it is a loose gone, which makes me very, very sad. <laughs> okay, so the last, I think the last makeup product that I'm going to be talking about is this Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins uh, Eyelash Glue. So something that I like about this compared to the other Duo product that I've been using, which is the, the two, is that it is a wand and it has this applicator on it. So you just brush this onto the lashes and then place it onto your eyes. I think it's a much cleaner way to apply lashes whereas the the tube would always like have that little bubble that pops at the end like when you're trying to put the product on and it kind of makes a mess. So this one is a better alternative to lash glue and it is um, mess free for me anyway and yeah it's pretty good. I've been using this every time I put on false lashes. It's good for the top lashes and under lashes so it's very very good. It dries clear so you don't have to worry about overlapping the glue with some eyeliner but I do it anyway because I just want to make sure that the band isn't showing while I'm wearing my lashes. So yeah, this is another... Oh! Sorry, I keep on dropping my stuff. So yeah, this is another product that I love using. Alright, so those are all my makeup products. So now I'm going to be going on to the bathroom products that I've been using for my face and hair and whatever. I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite face products and that is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. It is oil-free so I don't have to worry about any breakouts because my face is always oily. And yeah, this is almost gone. This product is nearly empty, if not already empty which is okay because I just bought myself a new set so this is like that new bottle is like my third bottle this is my second one and I've been loving this product it keeps my face very very clean I use it all the time when I wear makeup as soon as I use the makeup wipes to remove all my makeup I use this in the shower to take off any excess makeup and all the dirt and buildup that's been going on in my face so yeah this is a very good product very refreshing after you come out of the shower it feels so 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 good and your face feels very clean and very plump at the end so that is a plus so that is a bath and product that is my favorite and I am going to keep on repurchasing it until something else catches my eye Alright, so the next product that I'm going to be talking about is actually a set and it is the Gelamine I'm so sorry I can't speak French uh, Secret de Fruits Des Fruits and it comes in a shampoo, conditioner and it also comes in a hair cream so I've been seeing this on an advertisement and I'm probably going to do a thorough review on this product later in the future because I have a lot to say about this but basically it is a very good product I don't see why there is so much bad reviews on this product and uh, yeah this is very good it's very nourishing to my hair whenever I wash, whenever I dry, whenever I take care of my hair it's always tangle free when I use it and not only that it smells so so great it smells so lovely and I love it so much 
So I'm probably going to repurchase this again. It was a good, what, $13 well spent or something like that. Um, I saw it on a, a commercial that had Arashi Masumoto Jun inside of it. So I had to get it and try it out and I love it. Uh, not only because Masumoto Jun used it, but it was because it was a very good product and I'm very happy with it. Not so happy about all the other reviews that I've seen, but maybe my hair is just that different and it actually takes the product in very well. So that is one of my favorite hair products. And the last product that I'm going to be talking about is going to be the Tresemme Platinum Strength Strengthening Heat Protect Spray. Okay, so this is a good and bad product in a way. So whenever I use this product before I blow dry, flat iron, or curl my hair, it does do a very good job at keeping it very like protected. My hair doesn't feel like it's like dying and it's like keep my hair really nice and it keeps my hair very shiny as you can see. So this product is very good. What I don't like about it is the smell, especially after I use the heat on the product. I'm not a big fan of the smell and especially when I use this on my hair after I wash it, it kind of makes it mixes the scents of this plus the shampoo or conditioner that I've been using and I'm not really so not a big fan of it but I do like how it works on my hair probably gonna repurchase this because it is almost empty and I do flat iron and curl my hair quite a lot so probably gonna repurchase this if I can find another good heat protecting spray or cream or whatever to protect my hair that would be very helpful too. So yeah, this is another product that I've been using up and it is pretty good. So yeah, those are all my favorites and that concludes my video for all the empties or soon to be empty video. So if you liked it, put a thumbs up. If you want to see more, just keep on watching and press the subscribe button to see more videos. And if you have any uh, comments or something to say about any of these products, uh, comment them in the comment box down below. If you have any suggestions for me to use because I love to try out new things, uh, please comment down those on the comment box below as well. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.